This is day 26 in the Gaza-Israel war and the IDF is conducting intensive fights against Hamas terror positions inside the northern Gaza Strip in the area surrounding Gaza City. The majority of these fights are taking place in the Jabalia refugee camp. The IDF reported that 13 soldiers lost their lives in these battles. During the battles, the IDF was able to conquer a Hamas terror command position, revealing classified information and valuable intel that revealed the locations of many terror tunnels in the northern part of the Gaza Strip. This information is crucial to the next steps of the battle against Hamas. The IDF realized that in order to battle Hamas underground, it must create a siege luring the terrorists out of their hidden locations. In order to do that, the IDF must cut out the supply, especially the supply of fuel that provides oxygen, electricity, and any other necessities for the terrorists underground forcing them to come out. That's why the IDF is creating a secure barrier dividing the northern Gaza Strip and especially the city of Gaza from the rest of the Palestinian enclave. This battle is very hard and slow, but the IDF is making massive advances on the ground against Hamas terrorists. It was able to locate and neutralize one of the leaders of Hamas in the northern Gaza Strip. He was hidden in a bunker while commanding his troops to go and fight against the Israelis. The IDF located his position and destroyed it using a bunker buster that was fired from an IDF airplane. I believe we all know that this battle is not just a battle between Israel and Hamas anymore. Yemen declared war against Israel and launched a ballistic missile towards the Jewish state. An IDF Arrow 3 anti-missile defense system was able to intercept this missile and neutralize it outside of the atmosphere. I urge on all of you to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, pray for Israel. This is way bigger than Israel and Hamas. I have faith in God that he will protect us and he will deliver victory to the state of Israel against this evil.